everybody, this is Nora from Findaily, and once again, we're here at the Lenovo headquarters in Beijing for the launch of their newest phone, the Lenovo Z5S. It has an all-glass unibody design and looks pretty classy. It has a 6.3-inch display, and the bezels are pretty narrow, with a 92.6% screen-to-body ratio. And this time, Lenovo abandoned the slider mechanism design they used for the Z5 Pro in favor of the water drop notch design. And I gotta say, I much prefer the notch. Uh, the slider just made the phone feel really clunky, and honestly, I really didn't get the hang of the motion. The Z5 Pro had the in-display fingerprint sensor, but this one has the normal one in the back. The camera of this phone is something that Lenovo seemed extra proud about and it has triple AI snappers with a 16 megapixel sensor and apparently the wide portrait mode is better than that of the iPhone X. And it just so happens that I have an iPhone X right here. Let's compare. Yep, I have to say Lenovo is better in this photo. The iPhone photo has too much of a yellow tint to it and the Z5S blurs the background a little more which makes the portrait pop. But yeah, it might depend on the lighting, but I think Lenovo did a good job. It comes with a 3,300 milliamp battery, and it runs on Android 9 Pie. And it's powered by the Snapdragon 710 AIE Turbo. The phone comes with three different colors, crystal blue, starry night gray, and the coral orange, which is my favorite. And this is actually a pretty affordable phone. It only costs $200 and that is for the 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. So that's $85 cheaper than the Z5 Pro. Not bad, Lenovo. Not bad. Lenovo also released a special edition of the Z5 Pro. It's called the Ferrari Super Fast Edition. It's one of the world's first smartphones with 12 gigabytes of RAM. That's a powerhouse if you ask me. But honestly, what are you gonna do with 12 gigabytes of RAM? You can open all the apps on your phone at the same time. Awesome. So what do you guys think? Are you a Z5 Pro fan or a Z5S fan? Let me know in the comments down below which side you're on. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Again, I'm Nora from Fendeli and I'll see you guys next time.